Listen, if you call yourself a Christian, you call yourself a follower of Jesus, and you're still at the bar drinking, you're still at the bar smoking, you're still clubbing, lusting after women, listen, you're playing a dangerous game and you need to repent, you need to turn away from that. Why is that? Listen, witches and warlocks, they love nothing more than to find a Christian at a bar. Why do they like to play with Christians so much? Because when you say that you're a Christian, you're a follower of Jesus Christ, they like to test to see if you really have the power of God or if you're really who you say that you are. And when you're going out to the club, you're going out drinking, you're playing a dangerous game because you're leaving too many spiritual doors open. Listen, the first place witches and warlocks go is to the bar. Especially female witches, you know, they go to the bar and they wear provocative clothing. They wear clothing with their legs out, with their, with their breasts out. They like to make men lust after them. Why? Because if a witch goes to a bar and she can come up to you and she can get you to open up to her, she says something to you and now you're lusting after her. Now you just open yourself up to her. Now that witch can literally, ah, she can play spirits on you. There are witches and sorcerers that can place spirits on the people, especially if you're at the bar. You're already drinking, so that's already a spiritual door being opened. Now when you're lusting after somebody and you're in conversation and you're opening yourself up emotionally to somebody, boom, that witch got you. Now she can literally come in. She can play games with your life. You wake up the next day, that whole next month, you got issues, things, bad, bad things happening. You end up losing your job. You end up getting into a car crash. Bad spirits are following your way. Things get hectic at home. Listen, these things do not happen by accident. Everything in this life is spiritual. And people think, oh, it's not that deep. You being superstitious. No, everything in this life is spiritual. Especially if you call yourself a Christian, you have a target on your back because you are one of the ones. You are the main people that the enemy wants to put in bondage. Come on here, somebody. So what the enemy tries to do is he uses witches, warlocks, sources, maybe even a woman to try to manipulate you into breaking a spiritual law. That's what they try to do. They try to manipulate you into breaking a spiritual law because if they can do that, they can get you to open a door. Now, boom, that can come into your life and put you in some type of spiritual bondage. I just want to open your eyes to this. I know voodoo priests and witches that have gone to bars, gone to clubs, gone to strip clubs, and they take advantage of men. They put certain spirits on them, and the man wakes up the day and he ain't got nothing. They steal everything from him. They steal his chain. They steal his money. And that whole next month, he got problems going on because they put spirits, they put hexes on him. Listen, all this stuff is real. You need to open your eyes. You need to repent. And you need to close any spiritual doors that you still have open. In Jesus' name. Come on.